Hello! This is Boris Trenting, Russian, and I have a big surprise for you all. Yes. Another rant. Yes. Except this time it is more of small rants all bundled up into one big fucking package. I can't... I, I could not think of a big one. Or at least a big one I could rush on with, you know? Couldn't think of one. No, I could not. So I decided, fuck, why don't I do small ones? Small ones work, right? Yes? I don't fucking care if you disagree. Because I'm going to do them anyway. Haha. -ha. Okay. Let's fucking go. Okay. First renting topic. Yes, first topic. Okay, hold on. I'm in the car at the moment. Okay, first topic. Twilight. Was it Breaking Dawn? This new, the new fucking Twilight movie that is coming out. No, that is out already, yes. DVD that is. Ah. Uh, why, many, why? Why must they continue with this fucking shit series? I'm not joking. Seriously. From what I've heard, and I am not insane enough to go and see this piece of horse crap. From what I heard, the vampire motherfucker, he decided, oh, let's get married, Bella. You know, well, okay, in all honesty, it was the bitch's idea in the first place. She's like, oh, I want to graduate high school first and then we get married, oh yes. Because marrying at 18 was always a good idea. Trust me. That's not coming from experience, but that's coming from hearing from experience. <laughs> Trust me, kids. Wait a little while. My advice to you. Okay, let's continue. Yes, the bitch wants to get married to the sparkly fucking vampire. What does he do? Oh, sure, yes. And what does she want to do after they get married? Oh! Bite my neck while you have it! Ah! Oh, because having a vampire bite you in the neck was always a good idea! No! No! I don't care if you're in love with this motherfucker! Getting bit in the neck by a fucking vampire was never a good idea! But I'll be immortal! But you'll be a creature of the night! Bleh! Okay, in some cases, yes, it's cool to be vampire, blah, blah, blah. This is not health thing. Okay? You are not the big man in the, in the red jacket. You are not Alucard. Okay? You are a sparkling motherfucker in a world where you are not fucking needed. I'm not joking, folks. There is no world that needs sparkling vampires. Except maybe that fucked up one. But, uh, back to the topic. Uh, excuse me, I had the hiccups. I talked too loud, excuse me. So yes, she decide, let's get married, then bite me in the neck so we can live forever and ever and ever. Yes, because that will so work. You know what, I hope Blade comes and kills you both. Yes. In cold blood. Yeah, well, warm ashes, if you've seen the Blade movies. Good movies, by the way. Too bad for Wesley Snipes and attack uh, Too bad for Wesley Snipes and attack evasion. <sighs> Was not my fault. Let us continue. Okay. So what happens? He ends up doing it, yes. But before that, what do they do? They, ha they have sex on the honeymoon. Yes. They have sex. Not normal sex, no. Apparently, when vampires in this universe have the sex, they can, like, break shit. And not, like, rough sex so I put your, uh, while I pull your hair and shit. No. This is, I'm going to break something over your head. Like, steel bar. Yes. He's like, no, I can't do it with you. I will kill you. No, do it anyway. La, 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 la. So, what does he do? He does it anyways! I, 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 have no, I have no argument against sex. Not at all, you know? I'm not going to explain shit, shit about it, but I have no argument with it. But, when the end of it ends up... But, when the end of it can end up, I don't know, kill, killing you! 
I don't care how much your fucking pecker wants it, or how much your vagina hole wants it. It is not worth it. No, it's not. Then it may. Then it may end up killing you. Not good idea. No, no, not at all. Seriously. Holy shit. This bitch is dumb as fucking rock. I don't know what the fuck this vampire sees in this bitch. Okay. She survives. How? I don't fucking know. And, uh, oh, guess what happens next? Oh, you'll never guess. Oh, you'll never guess at all. The bitch gets preggers. Yes, she gets pregnant. Holy shit. How do you? Oh, God. Okay. Now, from my knowledge, vampires cannot have, have the kids. At least I don't think so. In most universes of the vampires, they can't because they're immortal. Hell if I fucking know. But apparently in this twisted, fucked up universe, vampires can have sex. Oh, excuse me. They can have the babies. Even though, aha, uh -huh, even though the, the other friends of this Jacob motherfucker said, oh, Edward, excuse me, uh, uh, you be, this is how much I care about this goddamn series. Uh, and because apparently, and this is said by Edward's friends, his other vampire homies, they said it is not possible. It has never happened in history of the vampire. So how the fuck does it happen here? What, is she, does she have magic vagina hole? Does whatever she stick in there get pregnant? What happens if you stick carrot in there? Does she have half carrot baby? That is some fucked up shit by the way. No! She has vampire hybrid, which which ends up and this is still bad by the way, which ends up almost killing you! Wow! She has the IQ of a fucking dust mite! Excuse me. Oh God! You know what? This series gets worse and worse every movie. I'm not joking. Every goddamn movie it gets worse. I don't know. I don't know what this this bitch's IQ is like. Nothing. It's like, oh, I'm just going to have sex with the vampire. It could kill me, but I'm going to do it anyways. Oh, I got pregnant from the vampire. Oh, the baby is killing me. Oh, let's just have it anyways. La 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 la. You know what? Listen. If I was dating you, I'd probably knock that head, head of yours right. Uh, I don't think it'd be fucking possible, but I'd try. Okay, and to end it all off, she has the baby, but it, in the whole point, it is killing her. Oh! So, and I, so, what Edward does to make it, I don't know, birth faster, and this is still probably one of the most fucked up moments in these goddamn movies. He, and excuse me if I have the hiccup runs in this one. He does a C-section with his goddamn vampire teeth. I am sorry, but that is some fucked up shit. That is some fucked up shit. Okay? I can, I can understand this bitch being dumb as fucking door. That is understandable. Some people are really fucking dumb and don't know it. Cough, cough, this bitch. But, oh God, you know what? That is the end of that one, okay? I can't stand this shit no more, okay? That was actually a long one. Okay, but who cares? Let us continue. Excuse me. Next one. Okay. My next one. This I've been I've been thinking about a lot, lot of my favorite movies, you know, like uh oh what is one? Um oh god. I am legend. Good movie! Will Smith's good actor, I like him, he's good, I like him I am good I am legend was a good movie. He acted well, good movie, yes. There is his company. They call themselves Asylum Film Works or Asylum Film something, I can't remember. What they do is they rip off these movies. They rename them. 
And they have basically the same storyline, you know. But they suck. They just suck. They suck so bad. They suck so bad. They would not be showing at any film festival. You could take the most run down piece of shit film festival. I'm not naming any. And they would be like, why would we want to play this piece of shit at our film festival? It's already bad enough. Why would we want to make it even worse? <gasps> so my advice to these asylum motherfuckers, stop ripping off the good movies and go do something else. Okay? No one wants to see your shitty fucking movies. In all seriousness, this comes from the company who made, oh, oh I don't know, Transmorphers. Yes. Yes. These bitches made Transmorphers. Which is the cheap fucking ripoff of the Transformers movie. Listen, are you so poor that you have to rip off a Michael Bay movie? That is some fucked up shit right there. Not as bad as the C-section vampire birth, but it's still fucking shit, man. Fucked up shit. Really fucked up shit. Okay? Okay. That is the end of that. That's a short one. My last one, very long. Very, very long. Okay. Do I have another one? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Okay. Everyone know, or at least some people have been watching my rants, that Boris, he likes to watch the anime. Okay. Understandable. That Boris likes to watch the anime. It is entertaining. I, I like it. Yes. But, there's one thing that has always bugged me. Okay. Weird... Storylines, not fucked up storylines. There are some really fucked up anime storylines. So yes, everyone knows that. But these storylines are like, after someone has explained them to you, you're, you're thinking in your head, how the fuck are you smoking when you sort up this shit? You know? Good example. Ereka 7. I can't remember much about this storyline, but holy shit. When it is explained to you, it makes somewhat sense. But then you think to yourself, how the hell did you, how the hell did you think up this shit? I'm not joking, man. How, how did this shit come to your head? Did someone smack you in the head with a hammer? And you're like, die, that's going to make a good idea. Why? I'm not joking, man. God. Another one. And I'm going to get hate for this, but fuck all of I care. Neon Genesis Evangelion, okay? I am sorry. I, I, I apologize now, but I am... Boris had to force himself through the last episodes of this fucking goddamn series. And I am not counting End of Evangelion. This is the series as a whole itself. Okay? The last bit of this series was so confusing. Did not make any sense. I was like... What is happening? I don't know. What I... But, uh, what, bleh, okay? And all the fans, they think, Oh, this is so deep! It is not deep. The show was never deep. Okay? You know, you know why it's so deep? You know why Evangelion is so deep? Or you think it is so deep? Because the director was fucked up in the head at the time. Man was under so much fucking pressure from his bosses. That he's like, I'm just going to slap all this shit together and see what the fuck happens. Okay? And that's not a lie. Boris have friends who know this shit. Huh? You think I researched all this shit myself? That would probably help. But you get my point. Okay? But yes. Yeah, I've got, I have another example. The show is called Razafan. It is spelled very weird. It is spelled with an X. I don't know how you spell shit with X, but who knows? Raza, Raza fun, I remember. Yes, okay. So, or maybe I don't. Okay, I'm going to try to ex explain it at the top of my head. So, apparently, there are these crazy people. Okay, you know what? I can't remember it, but it, it, it is. Look it up. Look it up. It, 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 gets really, it gets really weird, and I'm not joking. Okay, that is it for me. My throat hurts like it was being crushed by vice. This was Boris the Renting Russian. You all have a good day now.